I need to move that up. Uh, I need to move that up. Alright, hold on, hold on. Well, uh, hello, hello everybody and welcome back. Um, it's been crazy. It has been so, uh, so crazy. I've had a lot of stuff happen at once. So as I'm sitting here and contemplating that <laughs> apparently it's just not hot enough right now, even though it's summer and has been blazing hot, I felt the need to have a fire. But that's less about the heat right now and more about the fact that it's just kind of soothing to watch and to hear. Anyway, as I sit here and uh, contemplate this here uh, channel update and in many ways uh, relaunch because I have been absent and not recorded anything and so stinking long. Um, well, let me just give you a rundown. Let me give you a rundown. Channel update, rundown of what has been going on in my crazy life. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so first off, I quit my job, my very secure government job at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Kittery, Maine. And I'd been contemplating doing that for a long time because, well... A number of reasons, but a lot of it boils down to it just left me no time to do anything else. Um, traffic on and off of that place is horrendous. There's, uh, If you look on uh, Google Maps, you will see that there are two bridges on and off of that island. There are a lot of people that work there. I lost track. There's thousands of people that work there that have to cross those two bridges every morning. And let me just say, let me put it to you this way. The job I'm working now, I drive almost as far. But based on the simple fact that I don't have to deal with the on-shipyard traffic, I have reclaimed about an hour of my day. So I've gone from spending three hours per day, about an hour on, you know, to the shipyard, an hour back, and then honestly, half an hour on average on either end, um, just dealing with the on shipyard traffic. Yeah. I've reclaimed about half an hour to an hour, depending on the day. Now, what am I doing? Well, if I quit that job, um, in the meantime, I kind of feebly attempted to start my own company making knives. I'm still doing that, by the way, but I'm kind of pursuing it more as a hobby that pays for itself rather than a an actual business because I ran into a whole bunch of stuff where I had to confront issues that I hadn't really dealt with in myself of like time management and the whole executive function thing. No, I'd rather not get into it at the moment, but you get what I'm saying. Um, that didn't work out so well. Instead, I ended up uh, getting a job doing uh, framing and building stuff. And it's interesting. It's interesting. We're doing a development down in York, Maine at the moment. I have thoughts. I have lots of thoughts. I'll share them later. Um, some of my thoughts are centered around the difference between what they're doing down there and what we want to do with our home that we're going to have built. Because right now, we're planning on selling the place we were living in. And if y'all have been watching this for a while, you remember that, that woodland workshop I was working on? Well, that property, not right where the Woodland Workshop is, um, but that property, we're planning on building something on that, and we have accumulated enough equity in our home that we hope to be able to do that and be debt-free. That's the dream. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Even if we can't get that, if we can at least get to the point where our our mortgage looks like a car payment. Who am I kidding? I'd rather be debt free, but that would be better. So I have that going on. In the meantime, uh, one of the really cool perks about working with a framing crew is that they do not care if you take home all the scraps. And so that's what I'm burning right here in front of me is a bunch of uh, kiln dried pine cutoffs, all the like little lengths of 2x4, 2x6, even some of the 2x12s. Um, in fact, I've taken some of these 2x12s, uh, stuff that we cut off for joists and rafters. I've made some cool stuff out of that. The garden is going nuts. Um, you can kind of see that behind me. I got lots of updates on that. Oh uh, man, it is. It has just been crazy. So, kind of as part of the relaunch, I wanted to kind of to reevaluate what this channel was all about. And when I first started it, I had visions of kind of a I don't know. I call it tactical adventure channel well uh, when my that was my first iteration of it and i think that actually might still be my uh my name on odyssey and i don't know what it is on youtube anyway it was kind of going to be a, a shoot guns and have fun type of channel and i'm sure we will do plenty of that but there's going to be a lot of talk, a lot of philosophical stuff about why I'm doing some of the stuff I'm doing. And I, I realize that is going to be a core part of this channel. Um, that's going to be a lot of a lot of what we do here. And what I really am, am looking to do with this channel is to document my journey... My family's journey from being dependently integrated into modern systems and the modern world to getting ourselves to a place that is not disconnected from the rest of the world. In fact, perhaps is more connected. Uh, but connected in more meaningful ways. And that is increasing our own capabilities. Our own uh, ability to make stuff happen. Well, let me put it to you like this, okay? There's a guy I follow on YouTube. And, and he's got this really cool stuff. I can't remember... I can't remember the channel name now, but he's got a bike with a tiny trailer that has just enough room for him to sleep there, and he's got like three goats. It's a cool channel. I absolutely love the stuff he's doing, but I don't want to live that life. But I'm envious of his freedom. This guy is completely free. He has no, no debt. No mortgage, no car loan, no nothing. Nobody's got anything on this dude. I love that. I think that's awesome. At the same time, he has no no power. No power in the sense, I think it's a... a mm, I, I kind of hate that word, but I kind of like it. I'll get into that in a whole separate video. He has no ability to make stuff happen. All right? Oh, hey, one of the things that I was uh, that has happened is I've got a table saw. A gentleman at church who is a carpenter and does all kinds of cool stuff got rid of his old Craftsman 10-inch table saw. And now I have a table saw. I don't even have a place to put a table saw. I mean, I kind of do, but it's outside with a tarp over it. This is what I'm talking about. That table saw gives me... Power in the sense that I can make work happen. Again, I'll do a whole separate video on what is power and, and yeah. 
that gives me that, that tool gives me the ability to do projects that I would not have been able to do. I like that. So this channel is very much an attempt for me to find this balance of be free and make stuff happen. Going back and forth between these two and, and trying to find this point where I can maximize both of those. So anyway, um, I've got garden videos. I've got, I took, I got, I'm going to do a video where I took a 55-gallon drum, chopped off the top third, took some of the scrap that I've been getting from work, and made a really cool, uh, I guess you'd call it a planter box, but it's like a 55-gallon drum, or it's a, yeah, it's a two-foot diameter planter box that's like this tall. I've got a video I need to do about what you see behind me where I've got these pallets that I've screwed together and made into a high bed. It's like it's so high, it's not even a raised bed. It's a high bed where I can just stand there and pick weeds, pick the lettuce, pick the, you know, whatever I've got growing in there. I've got garden stuff to talk about. Separate video. I will do it. Trust me. Um... I got a ton of videos. I was I acquired, aka was given actually, a stove for the woodland workshop, a wood stove, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting that set up. It's gonna take it's gonna take a little bit of doing. Oh, so much that I want to talk about. Um, I am hoping to get a tractor at some point. That is kind of gonna be key to. A lot of what I want to do. And I'll talk about that. In the meantime, what I've got is this power right here, and I intend to use it. So, again, this is a journey towards freedom, towards uh, not only personal responsibility, but personal ability in ways where I can... I can help myself, yes, help my family, yes, but help others around me and build a community and all kinds of really cool stuff. And I still do want to go shoot guns and have fun and go on cool adventures and take hikes. And that will be part of it, too. Um, it's a really fine balance and I think that is that is what I want this channel to be more than anything else that I see is lacking out there. I see a lot of shoot guns and have fun. I see a lot of homesteading. I see a handful of let's do all of this in ways that empower us as individuals and allow us to check out of to opt out of systems that were designed to diminish our power and our ability to do things and were basically designed to turn us into fuel for somebody else's engine. And I I want to do that as little as I can. And I, I want this channel to be about building a better world starting in my own backyard. And documenting how you can do that too. Anyway, um, sorry for the rant and ramble. Hopefully you kind of enjoyed that. And my fire is now dying out. And I need to be getting to bed because, you know what, right now I still have to get up... Monday morning, and go check in to the J-O-B. But, until next time, this is Daniel signing off, saying, get out there, go do cool stuff, go empower yourself and those around you. And most of all, you all take care of each other, alright? Till next time, folks. Take care. Bye now.